everyone! Welcome back to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I've got a budget prepper pantry stock up from the Dollar General. So here and there, I like to switch it up, and this week I decided to stop into the Dollar General. And honestly, I really don't have a lot of luck there. That's why I don't go there that much. Most of the time, the, all the stores around me look like they were just looted and it's a disaster and I can't find anything. <laughs> but this week, I don't know uh, what happened, but I decided to stop into Dollar General and see what they had because I always hear of all these great deals there and see if I could find anything. And the store was pretty organized and clean actually and I was shocked. And it's one that I have been to before. So I was able to do a $30 stock up. It came out to $32 and some change here, 19 cents, because there's tax on non-food items here in our state. But it was about $30 for this haul. And um, let's jump in and see what we got. So I was super happy that I was able to get two bags for $30, unlike Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. I was only able to get one bag. Um, so this is pretty good. There, I found a five pound bag of long grain white rice, great for long term storage in your pantry, um, which was nice to see a nice bigger bag in there. And uh, it was $3 and change. I can't remember the exact amount but uh, not too bad for rice for a five pound bag. And then they did have a ton of stuff in their dollar section, which was great. I grabbed these jumbo cotton balls, which these are wonderful to have multi-purpose, so many good uses to have in an emergency. If you dab a little wax or petroleum jelly, like any of that stuff on these, they're gonna make great fire starters. Um, in addition to all the other first aid uses you can use them for and tons of things. So there are just lots of uses for cotton balls. So we like to have a good supply of those in our pantry. And they also had socks for a dollar a pair, which is a pretty good deal. So I went with some fun Christmas socks and you can't have too many and I wear Christmas socks all year. I don't care. Um, I just like fun socks. <laughs> And uh, these are great to throw into storage, any kind of socks, really summer socks, winter socks, all sorts of stuff. Having plenty of socks is important when you have to do a lot more work because the grid is down or whatever the emergency, you're going to want to make sure you have good socks and something comfortable and something dry on your feet. So I thought these were just super cute. I love Buffalo check and these had little reindeers and these have little Christmas llamas, and you don't have to go Christmassy, <laughs> definitely, but I like to have a nice variety of socks in our extra sock bin, so if anybody needs socks, we've got socks in there, and you know, we can share socks, which is nice, and at a dollar uh, for one or two pairs, it's really a super good deal. The next thing I grabbed was a two pack of toothbrushes. We love to keep a huge variety of oral care items in our pantry. We don't have to worry if we need a toothbrush, it's there. If someone else needs a toothbrush, it's there. Um, we just have, we want to have plenty of those on hand in a long term situation. It is going to be pertinent that you take care of your teeth because you may not have access to doctors and teeth problems can be a huge problem. So taking really good care of your teeth is so important. Um, we really like to keep a big, big supply of oral care. And the next thing I got was a full size tube. It says 60% free. So it's a little bit bigger than the regular small one that you normally sell, but just some Colgate toothpaste. Again, keeping that stocked up so we have plenty of oral care. And then I also grabbed a pack of these cotton rounds. I use these a lot in like my wax melts and stuff like that. When your wax melt gets down, you can take a cotton pad, just wipe it right out so it's nice and clean in there and save that pad because it's a beautiful fire starter once it has some wax on it. And it will stay lit longer to help you get that fire going when you need it. Um, so we use them for that a lot. The next thing I grabbed, this was in the dollar section also, was a dollar for a 48 count assorted cutlery, the plastic wear. 
not something we use all the time, but when that grid goes down, you may not have access to your regular water and you want to limit what you have to wash for dishes. So we keep a decent supply. So, it, you know, even if a long-term emergency happens, you'll want them in the beginning until you get used to it. Um, because it can, long-term emergencies can, you will get used to it over time and get better at different things. So having some throwaway stuff to help you in the beginning will definitely help. The next thing I grabbed is a pair of these, a couple pairs of these nitro gloves. These are great for cleaning. They're great for if you've got to help someone clean a wound, um, anything like that. Now, especially, you know, if you have to use a bucket for a toilet and reusable cloths, you're going to want gloves. You don't want to stick your hands in that. So um, gloves are definitely really important to have in your stash for any kind of emergency, really. I think they are super important. We keep a bunch of different kinds in there. And then this was a super good deal. You get a 30 pack of flexible fabric band-aids. It's only a 20 pack at Dollar Tree and it's 25 cents more. So this is a score, I think, definitely for a dollar. I really like that. Keeping that first aid really full is going to be so important when you can't get to a doctor or there is no doctor or, you know, just something, even band-aids are wonderful just so you can just take care of it at home. Everyone should be doing that anyway, I think, um, and keeping things covered up and stuff like that. And then they had a couple really good deals on some over-the-counter medicine, and I grabbed a cold flu and sore throat just to throw into our stash in case anybody gets sick, it can help them. We try to take care of things naturally. Sometimes it's not quick enough. Sometimes we need a little extra help. So these are nice to have on hand. And for only a dollar, it's definitely worth it. Um, so you have that backup for your medicine and you're prepared if someone gets sick. The next thing I grabbed was the severe congestion relief. I have tried these before. It works really good. Um, when you get really congested, it helps clear it out. Uh, again, we like to try and do it naturally first, but sometimes you need that extra help. And I like to have some just in cases in the pantry. You know, even if it just gets so old I have to toss it, I think it's worth it. Um, normally, we will use it before it does go bad. And some medications are not going to go bad. They may lose their potency, but you want to check on each medication that you keep in your home, even the over-the-counter ones. Past the date, some turn toxic and some just get weaker. So you just want to check on that. If it gets weaker, you can just double up your dose, but if it turns toxic, you want to make sure you don't use that. Um, you don't want to make it worse. <laughs> and then I also grabbed some allergy relief. This is just like Benadryl, works wonderfully. I've even used it for my dogs because I have a dog that appears to be allergic to everything. <laughs> and he breaks out in hives and bumps all over the place and we have to give him a little Benadryl, um, which is much cheaper than going to the vets. And then I found these Yardley um, disposable washcloths. These are so handy, things like this, for the car, for your emergency bags, for when you're conserving water, all sorts of things. We love having a bunch of these on hand because they're just so handy and easy, especially in the car, in our emergency bag in the car. If we're off somewhere, we got to get those hands cleaned up. These are wonderful. We buy baby wipes or whatever kind of wipes they have. I thought these were great. They are um, naturally naturally inspired, it says so. And they smell good. We like those, so that's one bag. Yeah, we got through that. <clears throat> and then I haven't seen these at Dollar General, but everybody to has told me that these are a dollar at Dollar General, and they sure were. One dollar for these potatoes. These potatoes are wonderful. They do not have any oils in them, so just check your ingredients when you're storing your food. Any fats and oils in them is going to make them go rancid um, over time, so they're not going to last as long. But these do not, and they are wonderful to store long term. We just repackage these. They're not going to stay great in these paper boxes because they're not airtight. 
but wonderful for your pantry. And we just pop them in mason jars and vacuum seal them. And then we've got them and they're there when we need them. And we love them for all kinds of stuff. It makes such quick, easy meals. We really like that. And then the next thing I grabbed, and I don't buy these that often, but um, I thought this would be great just to whip up a super quick meal. You could definitely throw some vegetables or chicken or beef, pork, whatever you have in this really. Um, some, some beans. It's just a newer Spanish rice. Um, this was only a dollar. I know our Walmart, they're at least a dollar and a half now. They've gotten pretty expensive. But, uh, but for just a dollar, and then you can add your vegetables and meat, make a one-pot meal really quick and easy with some canned-up veggies and meat, which I love that. And then I also grabbed, I love grabbing these when I do go to the Dollar General, and it's the roasted chicken Virgo, Virgo rice. We love this one. It is so delicious. Wonderful in the pantry. Again, we just throw some chicken and... Um, and veggies in there. If I've got chicken broth, I use that instead of water. This is delicious rice, one of our favorites. We love the yellow uh, Spanish rice, uh, the yellow rice also that they make. And then I have never tried this one before, but I love all their other rices. So I thought I would give it a try. It's a cilantro lime rice. I bet that's going to be delicious with some veggies in there and, you know, any kind of pork or chicken, definitely. So I just thought we would give this a try. It's a pretty small bag, uh, six ounces, but it'll definitely feed a couple of people when you throw some veggies and meat in it. So it would make a great meal. And I always love that. I'm always trying to think, what can I do with that? Well, how will I use it? Because I don't like to buy things that I don't know what I'm going to do with. But I try to think outside the box. What can I do with that? And there are so many options for most of the things that you can get. The next thing I grabbed was this little pepperoni. There are two little packages in here. There is plenty for one or two pizzas. We buy this package at Dollar Tree Normal, but only a dollar at Dollar General. So that is a super deal. And save that extra 25 cents every four items. That's another like free item compared to Dollar Tree. So we like that. And then they had their beans. They had one pound packages of pinto beans. And uh, so I grabbed a one pound package of these. They only had one and they didn't have any other beans in the store. I was surprised, just canned beans. And I don't typically buy a lot of canned beans because it is so simple and easy to can them yourself. And I'm gonna get four or five jars out of this bag. So um, it's significantly cheaper as well. So easy and simple. And the next thing I grabbed was some soups. They had some soups on sale. And I think I grabbed two of each. Yeah, I got two of the Campbell's Kitchen Classics, uh, two of those um, chicken soups. My kids love open and eat soups. I can soups, but they also love just a quick one person soup because I usually can them in quarts so there's enough for everybody and uh, but a quart is way too much for one person usually but I thought these were great for only a dollar a can what a good deal and good to have in the pantry for open and eat food um, a good easy single serving item and then I also grabbed the beef and barley I really like this one this one tastes really good and uh, I love beef and barley soup. It's easy to make, but again, I can them all in quarts. And so we have enough because we have a pretty large family, but these are great for single serve. Just pop it open and you're ready to go. And then their vegetables, I thought was a pretty good deal. They were cheaper than anywhere I've seen. And uh, this week they were, um, let's see two for a dollar so 50 cents a can is a really good deal i grabbed two cans of corn because we always like corn in our i use the canned corn from my corn chowder and um and i also grabbed two cans of the sweet peas because we eat a lot of peas i love adding peas to any any of these rice dishes i always put like peas and carrots and onions and celery stuff like that in there for 
vegetables because it's simple and easy. It really adds to the flavor, boosts the nutrition. And peas are one of those vegetables that's got a little bit more protein in it than, you know, let's say your corn or taters or something like that. So I love to make sure we have a good supply of peas. And that is it for my $30 Prepper Pantry stock up from Dollar General. I think I did pretty good this week. I got a fair amount of items and we can get that pantry stocked right up and keep it full as possible. Things are getting more and more difficult to keep our pantries full because everything is so costly and expensive. And you know, our wages are not going up, but our everything that we're buying is going up. So it is getting more and more difficult for everybody to stay on top of things. So finding those little deals are really important. If you have a favorite item from Dollar General that you love to grab there because it's a great deal, please put it in the comments down below. It really can help somebody else. And that is what I love to do is just help other people. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.